This is definitely stress relieving. Do, 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 Cassidy Quinn. Hey guys, or should I say, hey guys, these are my plants. <laughs> I'm gonna talk to the humans for a second, okay? I don't know about you, but I currently am in a place where I don't wear makeup most of the time, I wear leggings basically all the time, and that is great. Really, it's ideal. But sometimes I feel like I just need to give myself a little makeover to look in the mirror and go, yeah, you got this. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, today we're gonna do that for our plants. We're gonna make a moss pole. At first I thought they just looked kind of cool, and then I realized they actually are good for the plants. As you might imagine, moss poles kind of function like actual trees do in like the rainforest. So if a plant typically likes to climb in the wild, it might like to climb in your house as well. I specifically started thinking about this when I learned moss poles can be great for monstera. Monsteras? Monstera. What's the plural of monstera? In the jungle, monstera climb around large tree trunks and just keep getting bigger and have more of the fenestrations. This is a fenestration. See these holes growing into the leaf? naturally. So this is my Monstera. I got it about a year ago and it was this little. And look at her now. She has grown up into a beautiful teenager and now takes up a lot of space in my house and this pot. So she's ready for one size bigger of a pot. But I've decided she's also ready for a moss pole. Here's what we're gonna need to make our moss pole. It's only like two things. Moss. Spag sphagnum moss. I don't know how to say it, but the good thing is when you go to buy this, you don't have to know. You just say, can I have some moss? And they'll find you the moss. A pole. I went to the hardware store and got some four foot long bamboo stakes. They came in a pack of five. I just used my hands and my foot to break off a piece at the end because it just seemed a little bit too long. You do want it to be at least a little bit taller than the plant you're going to be using it for so that it has some room to grow. And some type of string, fishing line, or twine. I found this green twine because I thought it would camouflage nicely. Our first step is to get all of our moss wet. So I have a bowl of water over here and we're just gonna soak the moss in it. Should we put in any more? I mean, any moss? <laughs> I need a towel. Shoot, we should probably just lay this on the floor now. I always think plant projects are soothing and good for my brain, but this is one that I did not expect. This is definitely stress relieving. Also definitely feels like when you jump into a lake and this is the part of the bottom of the lake that you really don't want to touch with your feet, but right now we like it. Next, we're gonna take our pole. Obviously the bottom of this is going to go into the pot and it'll be covered in soil. So we don't need moss to go around any of the part that will be underground. So we're gonna start our moss like yeah. Now we're just gonna take chunks of the moss. Chunks, is there like a nicer term to call this? Bunches, pieces of, no, bits, handfuls, handfuls. Yeah, no, because they're not all gonna be handfuls. Sections of moss, and we're just gonna wrap them around the pole. Squeeze it out as we go. I'm gonna stop about halfway through to tie on some twine so this half stays on and all together and then I can go from there. Now, the second half. Now, more twine. Oh no, oh no, chunks are falling off. No, 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 no. <laughs> Dang it. We're gonna go back with some more twine to get our sh together here and tie up any loose ends like loose chunks of moss with shorter pieces of twine and here we are look at that wow this got really heavy <laughs> now we just have to put the moss pole and our monstera into their new pot be gentle now obviously at this point the monstera is like what are you doing to me what why what's happening here just like if you woke up tomorrow morning in a different house so we have to train it to wrap around the moss pole. Got our twine again. I just cut some little pieces and we're just gonna get it close to the pole and tie. And if your plant has any aerial roots or you just see little nodes coming out of the plant, try to get those close to the moss pole. Yeah, are you happy? I think, I hope. So here it is, my completed moss pole with my monstera wrapped around their 
hopefully in a way that makes it happy and it will keep growing big and strong. Now once you do have your moss pole and your plant all set up and ready in their new home, make sure you spray your moss pole with water every couple days just to keep it moist because we want our plants to be happy. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you are a crazy or not crazy plant person too. And subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos because here on this channel I make videos about the things that make me happy and will hopefully make you a little bit happier too. And for me, that definitely includes plants. And we will see you next week. I feel like I'm making some kind of meat dish, like meat on a stick. I don't know if it's a kebab or, I don't eat meat, so I don't know what it's called, but does this remind anyone else of, of meat? <laughs>